Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Today we're at New York Comic Con chatting with the cast of WGN's Outsiders. Get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cates. I chatted with these guys for season one. Here we are for season two. Congratulations. The Outsiders was a huge hit for WGN. And what are you coming back with? Tell me. Give me the scoop. All right, go give them the scoop. Uh, we're coming back with just chaos. Just so much is happening. <laughs> There's a lot of new characters. There's a lot going up, going on on top of the mountain and down in the town. So the power has shifted a little bit on the mountain uh, since we come back. Yeah, it's it's going to be a different world this year. Does it blow you away to have a fan reaction that you guys had? I mean, this huge opening, the people stayed with it the first season. It's got to be exciting to have such great fan support, right? Yeah, I mean, we, I think we all kind of knew we had lightning in a bottle a little bit. When we, you know, we read the script, it was so unusual, so different. And then when we showed up on the set, you know, the production design of this thing, it was so complex and it was like a tapestry of, of stuff. So while we were shooting it, you know, not to be cocky, but we kind of knew that, you know, we knew that it was going to go. This family at the top of the mountain, it's unlike anything on television right now. What have been some of the coolest fan reactions that you've gotten? Um... Being on the golf course and some guy in a golf cart yelling, get, get, ya!" Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> What's everybody getting in season two? Um, you're getting a whole lot more of Hassel and Sally Ann. <laughs> I won't say if it's together or apart, <laughs> but uh, you're definitely getting more of us. You're getting to uh, really see them, I guess, more in depth than you did in the first season because it was kind of scattered and sporadic. Um, I think people will be happy. I think they'll be upset. I think some people will get it, some people won't, uh, but there's definitely more of us. How incredible is it to see the fan reaction that the show had? Um, it's been great. You know, it was it was one of those things that yeah, even in season one, as we were making it, we were we just weren't sure. It was like mm -hmm. we don't. Are people you know, gonna like, like this? Are, do people are gonna like? Weird. It's it's a it's strange a tone. Show. It's a strange story. Mm -hmm. it, it, that that you, we just we just weren't sure, and then. Um, you know, it came out, and then, like you said, there was there was such a positive reaction to it, and it was it was just really gratifying, you know, to see all that, all the hard work we put into it, you know, have people actually enjoy it and get a season two and come back and do it again. It's not like they're your everyday Brady Bunch type family. <laughs> what do you think it is about this family that people really connect to? I think it's that sense of of being, you know, what there's a little bit of you know people talk about being off the grid and getting away from their phones and their iPads and their TVs and all that. And I think what happens when you do that is you're really forced to deal with your family. And although for a lot of people that would be horrific, um, I think in, in concept people are like, boy, that would be an, a better way to live maybe. So there's a little wish fulfillment, I think. Where do we see these guys going in season two? Uh, well, it's, you know, more of the same, more, more conflict with the town uh, and the state and the coal company and so on in terms of trying to get them off the mountain. And uh, they, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of themes of confinement. Um, different members of the family get separated from the family and go on uh, some big character journeys. So that'll be fun for the fans, you know. 